It is now possible to install KD Plasma on OpenBSD thanks to the hard work of Rafael Sodovsky and in the past Vadim Zokov that they put a lot of work on the KD and Qt framework and made it port to the OpenBSD. This is a lot of hard work and tremendous job. I cannot even imagine how that even happened. It's a lot of work, especially nowadays that KD is getting more and more tightly coupled with Wayland. Nonetheless, to install KD Plasma on OpenBSD, we have a couple of steps to take. First of all, we gotta install three packages, KD Plasma, KD, and KD Plasma Extras. Don't forget that this one is not a extra anymore it is extra and then afterwards we have to modify the x session or x init rc we can follow the readme file of the kd plasma package that clearly and step by step uh, tells us what we gotta do we have to export this stuff and afterwards we should be able to start the KD and lastly to solve the logout shutdown and restart issue since OpenBSD nowadays requires user to be a part of underscore shutdown group to be able to restart or shut down the machine we have two approaches to tackle it one is to simply add the user to the underscore shutdown group here as mentioned and secondly is to install dbus enable it system wide and start kd plasma like this in the x session or xinet rc we are going to take the easier route in case that you are enthusiastic about dbus you can follow the guide here i make sure to add both of the articles in the video description so let's start the first thing is to install the packages so do as pkg add kd kd plasma and kd plasma extras i have already installed these packages since it's going to since they are going to take a while what we have to do is to modify the accession file in this in our case and the first three lines are is are not kd specific or what the language uh, local i highly recommend you to add this stuff and then it comes to the kd specific stuff let me quickly uncomment it and then we also go through each line first it exports the xtg runtime directory to a slash temp if it doesn't exist it just creates it and then it enables the logging error logging of course and it specifies that the environment variable xtg current desktop should be kd and desktop session should be plasma and the last line starts the KD, uh, kd plasma x11 there is also i think kd plasma wayland how, however i'm not sure about its stability and it pipes the logs to the start plasma log so in case anything goes wrong we can inspect the logs of course don't forget to disable or comment the existing uh, window manager or desktop environment now as a last step before trying to log into the kde we have to modify the existing user and make sure to make sure that it is a part of the shutdown group so we did that and if we do groups we see that the user is a part of shutdown group now we are going to exit the i3 here and go to the kde the performance on the virtual box is not particularly well this is not specific to the kd is generally about the openbsc it has a pretty poor performance on virtual box because virtual box is not so officially supports openbsc now we are officially in the kd environment let me quickly resize the window and then we can continue and here you have it, KD Plasma on OpenBSD. That's all for this video. Make sure to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already yet. Have a great time. Cheers. I want to thank all of the amazing Patreon and Coffee supporters. Your generosity and support means the world to me and keeps me really motivated to continue creating content. 
Thanks again for your generosity and contribution.